Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. Here's a quick tech bit on fitting a slotting plus replacement guide to a slotted car. This also applies to a sideways car because they have the same guide. This is the guide I'm going to be using, the SP101003. It's a 7mm deep guide and PCS personal cutting system basically means it's really long so you can trim it to the length you need. And the reason I'm using one of these and not a Frankenslot guide is because in the UK these ones are much more readily available and they work really well. So in the pack as you see you get two and what you get with each one is the guide as you can see, a screw to hold into the top of the guide and two little pins to go in for the wires connecting to the braids. So let's dive straight in with the tools you might need. A couple of screwdrivers, one of those really tiny allen keys because this is a slotted car so it's got really tiny allen bolts. A piece of wet and dry, 280 grit I'm using, and a pencil. We'll come to this later. Right, let's get the body off this car. So there's the guide that's in it at the moment. And the first thing we're going to do is probably my favourite bit of this, which is we're going to take those two tiny little grub screws out and discard them completely. So having got rid of the grub screws and pulled the wires out from the pickup, it's now time to try and remove the guide. Now it's a bit tricky because it's pushed in during assembly and there's kind of two little plastic barbs which mean it's very difficult to push it back the other way so you kind of have to jiggle it about a bit and get a bit aggressive with it but it will pop out in the end. And now I'm going to remove the braids from this guide because I'm going to reuse those in the new guide. As you can see the new guide is quite a little bit deeper and very very long indeed. The main part of it is very similar to the slotted one. So next thing to do is test fit it into the car. Now it will go in but the post is a little wide for the hole in the slotted chassis so it's going to be a little bit tight to start with. And what I'm doing here is marking round the top of the chassis so that I can see how much of the post needs to come off the guide to make it fit properly. I told you it was a bit tight. Now here's a set of tools I didn't mention before set of side cutters just to take that end, trim that end piece off the guide post and because I've just squished the plastic hole a bit with the side cutters I'll just open the hole back up again with the end of a screwdriver and now the wet and dry because that post is a bit of a tight fit in the slotted chassis I'm just going to sand it down just reduce the diameter of the thing Give it another test fit. It's better but it's not right yet. So just a bit more sanding. There, that's much better. Much freer movement. And now back to the pencil. So what I'm going to do is use the pencil and just cover everything that's going to be a contacting surface with pencil lead. Now this comes from my dear old grandmother who always used it as a method of getting sticky zippers to work properly. If they were new and a bit stiff she'd just colour them in with a pencil and then they work brilliantly. It, it makes sense because you're just covering everything in a small layer of carbon dust.
Now I'm just marking where I'm going to cut off and trim the length of the guide. Back to the side cutters again. And now I'm just going to sand off and smooth the two ends where I've cut them with the side cutters because they do leave a bit of an edge. And it's good to get a good taper front and back on the guide. Then it won't stick in the slot on the track at all. And you can see I've just put a slight radius on the front edge of the guide as well, just to stop it catching anywhere on the track. And now it's time to fit the guide in the car. A little bit more pencil lead on both sides of the guide blade, just for good measure. That's nice and free moving. So at this point, I've lost the screw. Where is it, Dave? Where's the screw, Dave? Come on. Where's the screw? Oh, look, it's stuck on the side of the motor. Right, so we've put the little screw that comes with the guide in the top, and then we can tighten it down And depending how much we tighten it down, depends how much play there is vertically in the guide. And we can use that for tuning purposes later. A little bit tighter. And now the fiddly bit of putting the braids back through the holes in the guide. And now I'm just trimming the ends of the wires so that I can get the little caps over the end of them. And then it's just a case of pushing those down between the guide edge and the braid. A bit fiddly, but nowhere near as fiddly as the really tiny grub screws that we've got rid of. Just press those down. Like that, look. So we put the body shell back on and we are done. So there we have it, one nice free moving guide. Let's get it on the track and have some fun driving it.
so it's much smoother and much less likely to de-slot. You can really throw this car into the corners now. It's a vast improvement on the slot it guide. I do recommend this for all slot it cars and probably all sideways cars as well. Oops, did it again. And it's that time again where I say thank you very much for using some of your time to watch one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you liked it, you'll find a button specifically for that. Please subscribe to the channel for further updates and check out these other great slot car channels.